Hello and welcome to the first episode of my let's play of Scourgebringer. Scourgebringer is a 2D action roguelite platformer, something along those lines. And um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you more about the game while I'm playing it. At least the important stuff that I remember and um, all that and all the other important stuff that I forget I will put down below in the description. So be sure to check that out if you like what you see and uh, yeah, if you want to get this game for yourself. So um, yeah, for now let's get started and check this out. <laughs> We don't know where it came from and why it started to spread the Scourge across our lands. The Scourge Bringer. Our end. The countless deaths it brought is our new reality. Yeah, looking pretty grim and apocalyptic. We ventured in it, hoping to find answers. No one has ever returned from its deaths. Kira, go forth, my child. You are the strongest of our clans, our last light. May you accomplish the impossible task of repelling this ordeal. Okay. The Scourge Bringer awaits. Alright, may we complete this impossible task in the unknown. <laughs> Okay. Hostile environment detected. Enabling anti-threat protocols. Proceed with caution. I will. Uh, yeah, full disclosure, I played this game uh, a bit before, basically for about an hour. And yeah, I wanted to re um, share that first um, impression and recording with you. But uh, yeah, basically something went wrong with the recording. So here I am recording it again, but I really don't mind since this game is amazing. And uh, yeah, from the get go, you can see some really cool pixel art going on. And um, the game has been compared to Celeste and um, Dead Cells and <laughs> already I can see why, especially regarding Celeste. Um, definitely some similarities regarding uh, the size of the sprite and the platforming aspect of it all. And uh, yeah, we start out here, dead person in the corner, um, some sort of map in the background on the screen here and some eye in the lower right corner. Yeah, um, definitely an interesting setting, but um, for now, let's keep going. So on the right, you can see some sort of tutorial um, telling us what we basically have to learn to get through this tutorial stage. Jumping up with a double jump and I'm not sure if I rang the spell. I haven't found any point to ringing the bells, but I'm still gonna ring them all. <laughs> so yeah, here we see the wall run that we already accidentally did. Actually, I'm not sure right now how I do it. Hmm. Oh, just pushing up. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> So yeah, I played for an hour and didn't figure that out, so guess it's good to restart. Lockdown in progress. Unknown threat spotted. Suggesting dispatch using force to lift the lockdown. Okay, let's dispatch using force. <laughs> so yeah, you can see we have a lot of airtime and uh, basically infinite as long as we keep hitting enemies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Out of range enemies, suggesting dash attacks to reach distant, distant threats. Alright, let's dash then. <laughs> okay. Caution, you can be harmed during dash attacks. 
A long reach required to exit, suggesting combining a double jump with a dash attack. Yeah, um... So, a lot of possibilities to move through the air. Weakness analyzed. A heavy smash attack will be very effective if timed properly. So, I just realized I think it's our gun talking to us, because Blast32, I think that's the name of our gun. <laughs> uh, we haven't used the gun attack yet, but yeah, spoiler alert, Blast32 is our gun. <laughs> and seemingly also our AI friend in all this. <laughs> okay. Enabling long-range armament. Blast 32 units can fire bullets with energy. Energy refills with the strength of user impacts. Suggesting using close combat force to refill Blast 32 unit energy. Okay, will do. Weaponry refilled. Long-range bullets available. Blast for rapid disposal of threats. Okay, right trigger, here we go. Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, one thing I haven't been uh, fully uh, able to do is including that uh, ranged attack into my um, memorized attack patterns. So I definitely still have to work on that. And yeah, uh, some facts about the game. This game has been in early access for a while now, since uh, back in February, I think. And uh, just a few days ago, the final content update uh, during the um, early access phase was released. And um, basically the next big content update will also mark um, the final release, the 1.0 release. So uh, yeah. Uh, that's where we are at. Uh, basically, they have already included five worlds, I think, and there seem to be a total of six in the end. And yeah, that's where we are at right now. And they have a promotion going on right now. You can get this game for 20% off at the time of this recording, and I think for yeah at least 24 hours uh, after I release this so if you like what you see you might want to pick it up right now you can get it for 12 bucks I think so definitely affordable and definitely worth it from what I've seen so far but yeah I'll show you <laughs> who should go through the ordeal um, shall be gifted by the blood and bear its mark blood is power thou shalt seek its power all right, will do. <laughs> and seems like we got the power of the blood. <laughs> and this will be the first enemies that would fight back if I wouldn't defeat them quickly enough. And yeah, there you can see it. <laughs> So basically, as far as I figured it out, quantum distortions detected. Analyzing. Identification of a portal to an unknown place. Possible exit. Enabling mapping sensors. All right, and now we see, whoops, I accidentally shot right there. Now we can see a map in the uh, upper right corner and we can enlarge it. Basically, that's the path we took. And I think the same map we saw on the computer screen in the beginning. So uh, yeah, as far as I've figured things out so far, um, the dash is really good um, to quickly reach enemies, but not dealing much damage as far as I can tell. Um, the seemingly heavy attack also doesn't seem to be dealing too much damage, but it's kind of um, a way of stunning the enemies and interrupting their attacks. And yeah, basically the regular attack is ideal for finishing them off. And yeah, as I've said, I haven't been able to fully include the ranged attack so far, but you'll see. <laughs> the Entangled Ingress. Arriving at unknown location. High density of threats detected. Extreme caution applies. Okay, this is basically the first world after the tutorial. And I haven't made it through it yet, so um, 
basically this is where I left off anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, on my first runs I did even worse than I'm doing right now, but already I lost two health. So yeah, the difficulty in this is definitely um, noticeable. <laughs> gonna put it that way so it's not an easy game to um, get into at least not for me maybe I'm just not a great gamer that might be that might be a factor but uh, yeah I'm struggling <laughs> but that's a good thing um, if I would just master it right off the bat it might be boring And the controls are really nice, so um, yeah, this feels pretty cool. And um, even though I'm failing, as you can see, lost another point of my HP. Okay, that's a trap down there, and I didn't even notice it, but I was lucky. Okay. Well, still alive for now. <laughs> nah, not quick enough. Okay, well, lost another point of my health. Um, to the left is a mini boss that we have to defeat before we make it uh, or can make it to the final boss of this world. Don't feel well prepared, but whatever, let's go in there. Um, main thing about this boss, you gotta stun it, then you can basically yeah, get it kind of stunned and then it's not that hard actually. <laughs> well, but it's also summoning enemies and that's not making things easier and yeah if you don't stun it quickly enough there are a lot of ranged attacks you have to dodge and traps on the ground but yeah I actually should have used my seismic activity detected disposing of this threat might have unblocked an exit all right uh, yeah, I could have stunned it more often if I had switched between my regular attack and my heavy attack. Um, yeah, seems like I need to get back into the feeling and uh, <laughs> the memory of how to play this game. So um, we don't really need to reload our Blast 32 as I didn't use it as expected. Ooh, a strange egg to heal us. That is very much needed. So let's take that and uh, continue to the right let's leave the ammo for now oh now i wasted a bit of ammo accidentally by pushing the wrong button uh, well fully reload still seems overkill right now so let's leave it for now so i like to get rid of those um, enemies on the wall first since um, I really don't like to be surprised by their ranged attacks. Um. Okay, that went well, surprisingly. I was most of the time struggling with those large enemies on the ground. Alright, we're gaming. <laughs> Um, well, I guess let's see what's down below. More enemies, who would have thought? <laughs> you can hit through walls, I have to remember that as well, because that is quite helpful in many situations. Uh, basically, a really safe way of getting rid of enemies. That was a close one there. So yeah, you definitely theoretically can have full control of your character and really do some amazing platforming but it takes some practice at least for me <laughs> but the controls feel really really well done i can tell you um, you really know if you fail you failed and not like the game didn't screw you over or anything you just um, 
Yeah, you just failed. <laughs> it's your own fault that you died there <laughs> in the case that you do die. So far, we're doing good. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> ah, damn, two hits in a row. That happens when I start saying that I'm doing good right now. Well, this is an easy way of doing this. And a boring one. But okay, did it. Wow, <laughs> somehow I managed to get rid of the boss really quickly there. <laughs> Spawned right on me. Okay, did it again. <laughs> wow, good job me. And below us there seems to be a blood shop. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, here comes a new fated on the brink of madness. Welcome to your last resting place. <laughs> what am I doing here? Same thing as you, lost soul. Looking for answers. Though I believe there are none. Let's say I wander these shifting walls for my own project. I can be of your assistance if you feel like it. <laughs> I am a wandering merchant, to put it simply. You will most likely need goods to repel those ordeals, won't you? Let me show you my wares. Oh, and uh, I won't take money. I want those shiny droplets of yours. They have their own use around here. Name's Greed, by the way. <laughs> Please drop by any time. That is to say, with droplets. Okay, um, triple machine gun, can't afford. Cucumber, disgusting. Please make it disappear. <laughs> Crystal heart, increases max HP by two. I would like that. We can only afford the disgusting cucumber, so... Um, well, here we go. <laughs> this did nothing for us. The first time I did it, I unlocked an achievement. Um, and I guess now the world is cucumber free. So, all right. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to tell us? And the fated shall buy to acquire new powers. <laughs> what are you buying? Okay, guess there's not much new stuff here. Okay, yeah, but... Yeah, seems like this character came here just like me, also got his version of the Blast 32, different model seemingly. But yeah, we are both sporting a little android friend. <laughs> so well, let's keep going. Okay, this would be the boss room. Should I go in there? I can tell you I have no chance of beating the boss right now, but... I mean, whatever, let's check it out and do our best here. <laughs> That's not the way to do it. Wow, I'm doing great so far. Um, and I got hit, so... I shouldn't say that I'm doing great and now I died. <laughs> well, told ya, but... Actually, it was a relatively good run. 9 minutes, 18 seconds, uh, almost 9.19. Uh, didn't defeat any judges. Uh, got 349 gold and plus one upgrade sphere is what I'm going to call it. Um, rooms 16 of 20. Judge, body boulder, tough as a rock or tough as rock. Mind its collapse and stay calm when bullets are raining. Yeah, I think the bullet rain is not my main concern, but um, those physical attacks are like uh, with its own body. They are horrible. Well, no blessings and the ordeal shall continue. The Chiming Tree. Where are we now? 
And who are you? Looks like another traveler also got his version of a Blast 32 here. Ah! Uh, <laughs> are you and you fated? That's grand! <laughs> I've been waiting an eternity by the tree for a new expedition. Who am I? G Garo, I guess. I'm from Expedition 6. Or was that 16? What's about this place? The great chiming tree. It's the reason you arrived here. The reason you are still alive. I guess. I can't remember why I'm here. I must help. <laughs> blood. Blood is power. I need to think. All right. Yeah, definitely some exposition going on here in those conversations. So there have been seemingly a lot of expeditions before us. So I'm the strongest of the clans, but I haven't been the first strongest of the clans. <laughs> so um, yeah, what else is there that you got to tell me? The gift, that small glowing altar by the tree. Thinking, thinking. Okay, I guess let's go over there. Okay, it's the skill tree and here we can unlock new stuff. So far only two branches are unlocked and we can unlock the first thing on both sides. Um, the oak skin gives one more permanent max HP. I think we need that. On the other side is only fast travel basically. Um, which is also nice to have but not really helping with uh, getting through the whole thing. So let's improve our max HP and yeah, it consumes these uh, upgrade spheres that I caught, uh, talked about. You can't see it right now, so I will try to move out of the way and show you. Um, okay, guess it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Could move myself away, but that would uh, quit out of the game. But yeah, the oak skin costs uh, one upgrade sphere and in the lower right corner you can see that I've got two. So I will unlock it and uh, yeah, we got one more max HP now and we can also unlock the ground pound which um, creates a wave attack upon landing on the ground from a dash if I am to um, yeah, dash towards the ground basically. So that sounds useful as well. Um, and here we go, unlock that too. Also cost one of the upgrade spheres and now we have none left. Next thing would be resilient, gives two more permanent max HP and that also costs one upgrade sphere. So yeah, um, we can't unlock that one right now obviously since we're out of spheres, but um, good so far. And yeah, as you can see only the first two branches are unlocked. Um, and you can see this branch unlocks if we defeat the first judge, this one if we defeat the second one third one, fourth one, and this is like the content after the fourth judge is yet to be um, uh, included. So I guess, um, well, I think we can already defeat the fifth judge, if I remember correctly. They should have added the fifth world in the last up. Uh, update from a couple of days ago but um, yeah no content past that judge so I guess it makes sense that these are not there yet for the final world so yeah uh, did that any new thing to tell us <laughs> so you met with that sneaky greed he has been around for a long long time not longer than me though <laughs> he's willing to help though I have a hunch that there's something shady about him Hmm, thinking, thinking. <laughs> okay, nothing new now. So, um, um, yeah, I think the tree out here gets more bells the more we unlock. Basically, we unlock two things and now there are two bells. So, seems to correlate. And there's something down here. Oh yeah, we can walk in this pool, sea, lake, pond of blood, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, seems like it's time to go on another expedition. <laughs> Once again, the entangled ingress. Let's try to do better this time. 
No, not like that. Already lost the first point of HP. I really have to use my heavy stun attack more often. Okay, the rest of it, of it went okay. Um, I really can't figure out if I want to play this game with, this, with the thumbstick or with the D-pad. Um, I'm always unintentionally switching between the two. So typically I like to play platformers more with um, the D-pad, but somehow in this game it feels like, um, feels like the thumbstick might be the better choice. I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep trying and keep you posted on what I decide on finally. Uh, or in the end. <laughs> Once again I got hit. Not sure why that keeps happening to me. <laughs> okay, let's just continue to the left. Oh yeah, there are some really tiny rooms and I got hit again. But yeah, these tiny rooms are a lot harder since you have so... Yeah, a little room to navigate. At least for me, they are harder. No, I thought he was done sooner. Or rather, well... <laughs> Whatever, I was wrong. <laughs> not doing great so far, but that's not news to me in this game, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> but even though I fail at um, succeeding, <laughs> so basically I fail, uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, failing doesn't take the fun out of this one. Vault seed. sealed. Quantum distortions detected beyond. Yeah, basically what I told you, need to defeat the mini boss before you can access the boss fight. <laughs> That's okay, we'll get there. I just hope we find some healing items on the way. One was somehow hard to hit. I'm not sure why though, but um, no, why did I? I really have to remember not to dash into the direction of ranged enemies when they are about to attack, but rather to hide somewhere behind something and uh, bide my time. What the heck? Oh, I thought I had gotten rid of the one that then attacked me from the back. Oh well. The more I fail, the more I learn. Well, at least that's what I hope. We'll see if I keep approve, uh, keep um, keep improving or will improve with time. A pan <laughs> increases damage on stunned enemies by five percent. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so much open space here. <sighs> Didn't do great. Once more, sadly. That was relatively simple and um, we could go to the blood shop once more. But once more, there's nothing we can afford. Demon Horn gives back 3 HP. Well, I would like that, but we still would have to earn 132 blood to get it. Let's see if we can do it. First, let's take care of the mini boss, hopefully. Damn, well, that trap was not really helping with dodging. Oh, 
Okay, well, still alive at least, and we get another pen and another animal crate. Not exactly what we need, sadly. Well, let's see. enough. Okay, managed that rather well, but still not enough blood. I'm really making this the last point of HP count and we get at least a little bit uh, health back with the slug kebab. <laughs> That's amazing. It's 1 HP, but 1 HP is better than um, not 1 HP. <laughs> okay, what do we get here? Al Altar of Blood. Choose one blood blessing. Uh, instant gift, instantly get some judge blood based on your current progression, 10% of total spent. Yeah, I think the judge blood is what I refer to as upgrade spheres, basically. So that would definitely help us with um, the next runs. Uh, determination gives back all HP, all ammunitions and maxes out the reload energy. Okay, that would help us a lot with the current run. 5% shop discount per missing HP, kept at 50%. Uh, would also help, but... Yeah, I think I want to take the determination. Um, that sounds amazing. And maybe we even have a chance of beating this run with that uh, boost. I mean, we can't pass on that opportunity. No, not in the trap, please. Okay, that was rather tough, but I think it went okay regarding everything. Lost one HP, but well, only one HP in this case, so that's fine. Okay, and we get it back. Exploration complete. Loot has been maximized. I guess that means we were in all the rooms and have defeated all the enemies besides the boss. So slug kebab, more ammo and uh, more blast damage. Good stuff. Um, we can still go shopping and see what we can get there. And then we'll meet the boss again. i really gonna try to make this one count. Um, well, we can't afford this one, sadly. Um, and also this one we can't afford, so I guess buying this one makes no sense. So, boss fight it is. I'm still very doubtful. Um, about our chances. I'm uh, glad that I went back here accidentally. Um, this is a, isn't actually the boss area, but at least we could reload our um, Blast 32 is what it was called, right? I guess. Uh, let's see where we have to go. Okay, yeah. Fast travel would be nice right now, but yeah, it's just taking some time, so that's fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna try my luck here. Damn, oh, 
kein Haus. Stop it! Well, as you can see, even with full HP, this is rough. And I failed. 11 minutes. Okay, this took a while. <laughs> uh, I still haven't figured out if this face hugging technique uh, is ideal or if I should take more time. It's definitely easier to dodge the attacks from above while you're on the ground but also as soon as uh, I think half the HP of that body boulder is gone um, the attacks get stronger I think it's about half the HP and then it's yeah worse to dodge so I'm not sure <laughs> well back to the chiming tree it is and maybe we can unlock some more useful stuff and talk some more Imminent death is a troubling experience. <laughs> Blessed be the tree. The chiming tree. We never figured out how it brings the fated back here. Though it is obviously instrumental to the ordeal, it keeps us alive so we can endure this forever. Okay. <laughs> the body boulder. <laughs> it may be terrifying at first, but... If you stay calm, it might work. I remember struggling to avoid its bullet shower, but know that you can smash through it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed um, you can basically hit the projectiles and um, if you do that, you destroy them, but um, it's still pretty hard not to um, get hit by them. And I think dashing doesn't help, so yeah. Let's see what we can unlock. Oh, we can boost our HP even more, so that will definitely help. <laughs> um, yeah, final thing would be bullets fired by Blast 32 deal 50% more damage to stunned enemies. That might also be pretty useful. So, um, yeah. That we might unlock next, or the fast travel, I remember. I unlocked some of these and I think there's, oh yeah, it shows already, combo, but it's a combo meter based on your speed and attack variety. The bigger the meter, the more the droplets. Combo gets halved if hit. Um, deadly combo, taking down enemies counts, counts twice as much for the ongoing combo and deep breath. Combos break 25% slower when there's no enemy around and completely stop close to shops or altars. Yeah, um, useful stuff there. So unlocking all that will help with um, our explorations. But for now, let's work with what we've got and try our luck once more. <laughs> what the? Why was it still shooting so long? Okay, well, one HP lost. We might recover that somewhere. Yeah, I just realized uh, jumping down through those um, platforms can help a lot. And stunning can as well, so I should use that ability. Um. No, 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 no. Stop that. <laughs> <sighs> trying to play this quickly but still uh, safely <laughs> so let's see how well that goes no whoa I thought it was already gone sometimes uh, when a lot of enemies are around you it's getting a bit hard to know what's happening where 
let's get another blessing. Uh, bear spirit, 5% more damage per missing HP, okay. Flores Lava, for each enemy killed while not touching the ground, Kira gets plus 10% sword damage. Wall run is allowed, permanently or for a while. <laughs> but that sounds pretty cool. I wonder, okay, and determination, well, we don't need that right now. Um, not sure if this will help us in the in the final boss uh, fight because I think it might be limited to the room you're in. I'm not sure. Well, let's try it, I guess, and we'll find out. Bear Spirit sounds cool as well, but we know what that will do. So um, might be more useful, but let's see how Flourish Lava is working. Mm. Or, well, let's hope that we can even tell. <laughs> we'll find out. Hmm. Detecting presence of Earth-based technology. Suggesting investigation to retrieve information. Will do. Um, expedition log, a testimony of the past, can be archived with a Nexus computer. And a Nexus computer, a computer that may come in useful. Garo might know about it. Okay, well, let's pick that up and let's pick that up. Log acquired. Expedition 1, day 1. Replaying now. Okay, so this is how it all began. This is not good. The mirror seems to be a one-way trip into the Scorchbringer. Uh, Scorchbringer. Um, nothing seems to be able to traverse it backward. It seems indestructible. We must secure a way out. End of log. Archiving file into Nexus. Okay, is the mirror how we came in here? Well, guess we'll find out with time. Yeah, I'm back to the D-pad, by the way. <laughs> so far it seems to be working all right for me. Um... Extra rounds. Yep, more ammo. Sounds nice. Gonna try to use it. Mm. attack of those wall enemies are really surprising sometimes. Well, let's try our luck at the mini boss. No, 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 no. Oh man, that was stupid. I kind of fell down. Now it's not coming near me. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, reload speed. Well, I guess that's nice. And we can fully reload it. I guess that's nice too. Um, Okay, boss room. Uh, I think I want to explore some more first. And check the blood shop as well. See if we can get something useful there. Okay, 
Okay, that went well. Wasn't sure for a minute there, uh, or rather a second, um, because this doesn't take a minute. Well, this is a tough room, I'd say. Because it's so cluttered uh, with, well, not cluttered with enemies, but it's just an open space and nowhere to dodge. That's why it's a bit tougher, but made it through as well. Oh, another slug. Well, missed that enemy, but it missed me too, so all is well. What the... Really don't like those wall enemies. if I can avoid it. Um, no. Leave me alone. Okay, nice. Also okay. <laughs> but didn't really do anything. Seems like we might have maxed out ammo or 10% didn't equal a full bullet. <laughs> So yeah, I think there's only the blood shop left um, and we might have enough blood for something. Yeah, sounds pretty dead right now. Okay, um, we can't afford this, sadly. Heavy railgun to instantly fry things up. Sounds amazing. Sadly, no. Extra rounds. Um, not necessary, but um, this sounds nice. <laughs> One HP. It's basically what I want out of this, so um, you can use the left analog stick to just, when you point in the direction, it fires, so that's cool. Oh, and it reloaded. Ah, okay, I had basically backup bullets, I guess. Oh, cool. Yeah, still do now. Um, yeah, that's not an option, so I guess let's head into that boss fight once more. Where was it? Okay, down there. <laughs> uh, yeah, still don't know what the ideal approach to that boss fight is, but let's see. <laughs> Maybe I do less face hugging this time. <laughs> okay, that doesn't help. And those traps aren't really great thing to have around either. Yeah, maybe this is the approach. Damn. Yeah, as you can see, it's getting harder to dodge. Attacks are getting more intense now. Yeah. 
man, almost made it, almost made it, even stunned that one. Ah, so close. <sighs> Was really in the zone there at the end. I'm not sure, maybe it's good to uh, not face hug at the first half of the battle and then switch to face hugging. Maybe I'm gonna try that next. <laughs> um, well, we still have stuff to unlock before we face him another time, face the, what was it called? Um, body boulder, exactly, judge body boulder. Okay, ah, <laughs> that's a Nexus computer. What could it hold? Thinking, thinking. Oh, could this be our expedition logs? Yes, <laughs> it sure is. Early expeditions took computers with them to keep track of our researches. I lost mine and most of the memories I had of them. Damn had thinking, thinking. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the other expeditions held copies of my research. Hand me this computer. I'm going to install it by the tree. We will then be able to gather more logs. <laughs> Please help my old bones. I have a hunch that retrieving other locks might help me to recollect my memories. I know there is a meaning to all of this. <laughs> Please come back. I'll have the computer prepared. All right. Hmm, thinking, thinking, cough, cough. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we can unlock the fast travel. Might save us some time, so why not? And um, yeah, got another bell on the other side, as we would expect. Well then, let's head into yet another one. Might be the last one, maybe two more. Let's see how long it takes this time. Ooh, we meet someone new. Here, here! It looks like I just stumbled upon the most exhausted fated. Well, it's not like you're the only fated around by now. <laughs> I'm Peppy. I work for your favorite shady person, Greed. Or maybe working against sounds more accurate? I smuggle items from him. I'm not quite into his hoarding attitude and his laugh gives me the creep. I have a feeling that one day he's going to become the villain of the story. You know, like in those spy movies when the arrogant lad reveals himself as the bad guy. What a plot twist that would be! <laughs> anyway, here's a bunch of the latest stuff I've snuck out, free of charge. I just wish you success where we, where we failed. Okay, since Peppy is saying we, seems to be another fated before me, although I didn't see uh, a blast thingy on him. Well, let's check again. Um, and thanks, by the way. Uh, machine gun, automatic and fast with a notable spread. Okay, I guess. Didn't do me well to try to use the ranged attacks last time, but I'm gonna keep trying, I guess. Heavy bullets, more damage, okay. Seems like crystal heart. More max HP, yeah man. <laughs> Shovel, damage against stunned enemies, plus 10%, cool stuff. Sword damage, plus 10%, okay, amazing. Uh, yeah, no blast thingy on Peppy. Hmm. Help yourself, it's really up to you. Okay, thank you. Anything else? No refunds, <laughs> Okay. Whoops, accidentally used the ranged attack, but well, that wasn't a problem, but getting hit by that enemy was. That was just stupid and, un un and unnecessary. Well... <laughs> and here we are at the blood shop. Um, well, we can get that one HP back at some point. Uh, full map, reveals the entire map. Not sure if we really need that. Uh, mini nuke, devastating rocket launcher, very slow to reload. Not sure if we can afford that. Well, I am sure that we can't. That little... I know that he won't say no to free items, but let Peppy know that if I catch him, he's done for. <laughs> okay. Don't listen to the old chap. He doesn't have all of his marbles. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, um, we probably gonna come back for that slug kebab, but for now, let's uh, explore some more. Good job, me. <laughs> oh no, oh no, hide, 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 hide. Okay, that worked. And I forgot the slug once more. Okay, those were relatively um, simple enemies. Not gonna complain about that. Okay. Flower down here. Can't cut it, but it's moving. Okay, um, guess there's nothing else down here. Nice one. Um, short thing. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe I'll just leave it lying around here for now. <laughs> okay, another blessing down below. Let's see. Keen Eye reveals Greed's position on the map throughout every realm. Every realm. Um, we don't need it here and I'm happy if we make it through this realm. So, <laughs> Judges drop more items with at least one health item. Okay. Um, I'm happy if we can make it past one judge, so also not. Generous altar. All subsequent altars will, of blood will yield four blessings. So all of these are for basically pre preparing for the upcoming realms. Great! Um, I would like some boost for this realm, but uh, I guess that's not an option. So... Um, uh, yeah, I guess healing after defeating the judge, if we manage to do that, would be nice. So <laughs> let's go. Okay. And let's backtrack. Okay, there we go. Whoa, close one. Okay, another one of those. We are really lucky with the health item this times the uh, health items this time let's go to the mini boss fight and um, then check if we need healing okay. 
Nice. Did that. Oh, we get even more sword damage, I think. We really have a chance of beating that one, uh, that first judge this time. Let's see. <laughs> um, so we still don't really need two health. Okay, there's the judge. First, let's explore the remaining rooms. I think only two are remaining. Two more. I'm definitely getting better at reacting to those exclamation marks that exclamation marks that warn you of an incoming attack. Um, since yeah, if that appears, I'm basically instantly using um, my heavy attack to interrupt the enemies, and that's really helpful getting those reflexes. Damn. Well, this time I didn't, but yeah, I've got healing items, so no biggie. Even more healing items. Uh, okay, infected rounds. Cool, I guess. Um, well, we can take the two health one. Is there anything left? Nope, there isn't. Oh, there is the blood shop, but don't think that there was anything useful, but well, let's check, I guess. Um, Nope, nothing we would need or could afford. <laughs> uh, so let's pick up that health item and head into that boss fight, hoping that somehow we manage to make it. Okay, so no face hugging at the beginning, but uh, a lot of face hugging later on. Yeah, that's our strats now. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, um, <laughs> didn't do great exactly, but still alive. <laughs> so let's pick up some healing items and other stuff. Okay, didn't even use my blast 32, but it worked. <laughs> Capacitor, sure thing, I'll take it all. And let's see if we actually uh, progress into the next area or if we go back to the chiming tree. I haven't done this yet. Heart is beating really fast. This was exciting. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, the still bastion. Guess it's part two of the dungeon. Okay, um, let's do our best here. <laughs> Hi, 
I don't know these enemies. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay, laser enemies. Damn. Okay, still alive. <laughs> Gathering intel here. Wow, this is really... This is really tough. <laughs> I was still struggling with part one of all this. Now, now, now this. No, okay. Made it through. Yay, more of all that. <laughs> Well, I really don't like the laser enemies, but this one I think I can handle. Nope, not like that. <laughs> oh well, didn't get hit, so it's okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> of course I had to still... Okay, third wave? What the heck, man? Two waves were more than enough. Okay, that was it. <laughs> Alpha Hardened Devil packs a punch. It's safer to flank it. Thanks for telling me, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, but that was nice that we finally managed to beat... Um, beat that first boss, the Judge um, Body Boulder. <laughs> I say finally since, as I told you, I already played another hour before I started recording today and yeah, after two hours I was finally able to defeat the first boss, so that's cool. But yeah, guess we gotta start from scratch next time. Well, let's return to the Chiming Tree. And yeah, help from Peppy was definitely um, key here. <laughs> Without it, I don't think I would have stood a chance. Well, let's talk to um, good old Garo. You're back. <laughs> I got the computer installed. It's working and ready to host more logs. Please search for more logs, especially my research. Thinking, I know that I was close to the truth. Go ahead, give the computer a try. <laughs> sure thing. Okay. Archives, expedition logs and bestiary. Uh, let's look again. Expedition 1, day 1. Sure, we have found that. This is not good. The mirror seemed to be a one-way trip. Uh, the mirror seems to be a one-way trip into the Scourgebringer. Uh, okay. Um... Nothing seems to be able to traverse it backward, and it seems indestructible. We must secure a way out. Okay, I wonder if the thing here is the mirror that we see here. Um, well, uh, bestiary. <laughs> Lots of Xenos, Xenos, I don't know how to pronounce these. Xenos, probably. Uh, so, yeah. All the enemies we've seen. Fallbot, death from above that will try to pierce through you, can be smashed while and before falling. Okay, and after it explodes and hurts you. Alright, um, let's see what else there is. Alpha, Xenos, Xenos, whatever. Uh, okay, yeah, we have seen all these. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what else? 
more. Okay, there are a lot of enemies still coming up. Guardians, uh, this is the floating eye thingy. Eye construct, an all-seeing bot, prompt to evade, extremely, vul extremely vulnerable to smash attacks. I noticed. <laughs> Judge Body Boulder, tough as rock, mind its collapse and stay calm when f when bullets are raining. Yep, uh, we read that before. Okay, I guess that's that's that. Anything else to tell me? Oh, so you encountered Peppy. He's likely the sanest of Greed's followers. He's been of great help to me. I hope that he's been to you too. Yeah, he has. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm, thinking, thinking. Cuff, cuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> spell cuff, cuff out, but continue cuffing. <laughs> okay, um, let's upgrade and then I'm gonna call it a day. Oh, we can, yeah, right, we finished judge number one. So what's this? Lethal club allows you to throw bullets back at enemies with the smash, inflicting a lot of damage on impact and also using the force to slightly recharge. Well, that sounds useful. I'm not sure if the smash is the regular attack or the big attack that stuns enemies, probably the big one, but still uh, this sounds cool, I'm gonna unlock it. Combos sound cool too and important to get enough blood to buy all that cool stuff. But for now I think Smash sounds nice and might also be cool to have an easier time defeating Judge uh, Buddy Boulder, so yeah, gonna take that one. Oh and you can disable unlocked stuff, um, not that I would want to do that, but good to know. All right, uh, yeah, I think this concludes episode number one of Scourgebringer. Uh, yeah, my thoughts so far, this is an amazing game. <laughs> As I told you, the controls are really snappy. You feel totally in control of um, Kira. Oh, by the way, I think it's really cool that Kira, Kyra, not sure how it's pronounced, but uh, I know how it's written. I think it was, uh, well, I don't know, but I think I, kind of know, I think it was K-Y-H-R-A and it's basically almost an anagram of Rake, <laughs> Rike, whatever you want to pronounce my name like, um, except there's an extra H but you can ignore that. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, something I noticed right away. Oh, and I went into another run, I guess, and return to the tree, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna do another one right now. But yeah, I like this a lot so far. It's a really, really cool game. I can only recommend it. Uh, yeah, I can only recommend that you pick it up while it's still discounted. 20% uh, on Steam right now. I'm gonna put uh, the link to that in the description. So um, yeah. Even if you don't want to buy it, put it on your wishlist and you can wait until it's even cheaper. Um, or just wishlist it because you want to support the devs. Wishlisting helps devs out a lot because then Steam will list the game higher. So um, that's an easy way to support the devs without having to pay a dime. So um, yeah, if, uh, if you like what you've seen, maybe just do that. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's all for now. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope that you'll see me again next time when I'm uploading a new video or streaming something over on Twitch. I think this game might be good for streaming as well, so you might catch me over there streaming some um, Scourgebringer content. Yep, that's all, so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you again next time. Until then, take care. <laughs>